Hello, I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Factorio, where we're building a bigger, better ore processing facility here. Um, so we need to mine ore up here. Uh, this guy's going to be in the way. Let's get rid of him. All right. So mining ore up here. This is going to be a little bit weird because this patch of ore is shaped kind of funky and some of these aren't going to be able to actually mine. I'm not really sure. Actually, maybe the best way is to go this direction. Um, that's going to be in the way. That's kind of annoying. Um, let's work our way up to that and then we can kind of put in Man, there's going to be a lot of... Lo Actually, load balancing doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters, but um, it won't really slow things down that much when we're going to be on such a smaller um, scale here because these things will not output nearly as fast as our belts can move. So we're just cramming in all of these uh, miners as best we can trying to cover as much area here as we can without um, actually this is going to move over just one more cover as much area as we can without um, giving ourselves too terribly much of a headache in doing so so that's going to be in the way um, but I think we're fine. That actually gives us full coverage here, and some of these are just gonna die pretty quickly anyways. Um, and we're gonna run this stuff to the left. So we're gonna come in here, and this is all gonna go this way. Um, like this. And like this. There we go. Uh, we'll combine that up then in a moment. Um, let's take these guys. We're going to come over here and we're going to get this group as well. Um, and then yeah, we're going to do something like this. There we go. We'll have to power that other set before we forget. But um, And this will go right here. Okay, um, this will be a little bit unbalanced, but that's not really a big deal in the end, at least. Um, so this is going to all come down this way, like so, and like so, and then we're going to turn. Like this, and this, and this. Okay, and then this is going to go here. And we go this way, this way, this way, and that way. And we are now load balanced there. Let's put down our power lines here here, uh, here, and here. Now we need to connect this up. Uh, could be easier said than done given the fact that I don't... Uh, I can make two. I have enough supplies to make two, so let's hope two is enough. Two should be enough. There we go. That is all powered. Um, and I will just, we're just going to bring this across the top to meet up with the rest of these. All right. We're just going to come straight across here. All right. And now some of these are going to be, okay, we're going to, we want to bring this down to two lines. So we'll merge this one with this top set, I think, and then we'll merge these bottom uh, ones. 
So we can actually do, yeah, and we're basically going to want to come straight down here. So we're going to do this and then this. Excellent. We've got this guy. And let's see here. Um, let's go this way and then this way. Three. Like so. One load balancer. Um, and then let's see here. This is going to go like that. Oh, this light is going to be in the way. Robots are bringing us stuff. Oh, I screwed that up. So this will come up to here. Like so. Here we go. Okay. Um, now we're going to need this. Uh, and... We're going to do this kind of the opposite way of the other one. So there. Nope. That, that's not that's not right. You need to go this way. You need to go that way. And then I need to pick some of that up to reset that line. And then this goes like this. Something like that. Yeah, I mean, there'll be a little bit of a gap between the setups here, but I don't think it really matters. Um, okay, let's power this mess. So there, and there, and then here, and here. And then here and here and here. There we go. That is all nice and powered. Okay, so ideally, well, we'll bring it down along here. I'll probably bring that other one over to match up with this one. Okay, and we're going to bring this guy down to here. Yeah, right there. Um, and then we'll bring the other one down, which will go on like an inside track, basically. This is probably like incredibly over... Well, I don't want to say incredibly over engineering this, but it's probably not necessary. Uh, we ran out of belts again. So let's go get some of those and then we will get started. Uh, we'll probably get some supplies here because we're gonna need a bunch of um, we need a bunch of chests. Um, yeah, definitely gonna need a bunch of chests. I think we want just um, I think we just want steel chests unless storage chests have more space. 48. No, yeah, I think we just want steel chests. Um, I don't really see any reason why we would need provider chests. I totally walked past the belts. Um, robots are going insane because they're trying to find me to bring me belts. They're probably all screwed up because I just got my own belts, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I have to go through this base one of these days and make sure that we've got good coverage on the logistics areas, which I'm positive we don't. Okay, uh, here we are. Let's um, grab this guy. And continue on our way. Like so. There we go. And this is all going to meet up here. 
All right, and then we're gonna have the train. Okay, so how many sections do we have here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do two separate offloads off the train, I guess. Um, I think that uh, that makes a lot of sense. So each one of these will have its own line. Um, and then the train ones will come from the other direction. So let's actually, let's actually build this where we want it, which is just going to be like basically right here. Um, so how do we want to do this? We want one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We've got six. Now we need, uh, we've got more fireworks going on. Okay, let's see here. How does this work? Exactly like that. So we've got one, two, three. Okay. And then we go here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. Excellent. And then this goes here like this. And then we go here, here, and here. And off we go. Exactly like that. Excellent. Now let's pick, we can pick up our, this is my testing example to see how this thing worked. Um, still more fireworks going off, so just ignore that. That's just going to happen here, unfortunately. All right, so we've got this. I don't actually want to hook this ore up yet. Um, and I actually really hope this works if I don't actually have six lines hooked up yet, because it would be real annoying if it didn't. Um, all right, so what we're going to do, here's the other tricky part, right? Because um, we need to have ore come down on both sides of this. Okay, so actually what we need right now is we need a ton of steel chests. So we need to go get a bunch of steel to make a ton of these chests. Um which shouldn't be incredibly hard. We should have plenty of steel uh, if I can get up to it. Um, and I'm just gonna basically fill my inventory with steel here. So let's just walk down this way towards the end. I don't really wanna pick up, um, there we go. I don't really wanna pick up those electronic circuits if we can avoid it. Okay, so we can make many, many steel chests here. Um, and I'm just going to keep collecting this. It's going to put us a little bit behind on the iron, uh, in the iron department, but we're, you know, we're working on remedying that and we will be remedying our steel and copper production while we're at it. I honestly have no idea how many of these we're going to need. So I'm going to grab enough steel to make a ton. Maybe like 150, uh, it's 151. Let's just, these are gonna make real quick, so I'm just gonna spam. Click here, hopefully you don't, um, oh, there we go, I can shift click, excellent. Excellent, all right, so now we gotta head back down this way. Um, and I've got plenty of inserters, so I'm not super concerned about this, but, um, so what we're going to do here is I want to put a pretty big buffer here. Um, let's see here. How is powering these going to go? Um, so we're going to do something like here. Yeah. 
something like that and then these are gonna go like this so we'll do every other one basically um, yep just like that uh, we obviously won't be able to have anything there all right so this is gonna come like this it might get a little tight in the middle but uh, it should be it should be all right we got to make we'll have to make it work so here and then here okay I see now we should have enough room it looks like because um, th these ones are gonna have to grab off of a belt to put into a chest we may do several sets of these um, so this is just gonna go like this and then one two what like oh wait no these are grabbing off of the belt so these chests which are our buffer chests are gonna go here there we go like so um, oh no those don't go there okay yeah I think we'll do um, actually why don't we right click this and then we will well actually we should put down the other belts hang on Let's grab our belts and then we will put down these belts like this and like this and then we can take and copy this there we go now we need to take a we need a provider chest there we go um, and we are within a robot range here, so let's just put this guy down here and then we will shove some of this stuff down in here and we will stick these steel chests in here. Kind of hope we had a, have enough. Uh, we'll put this down and then we can just do this. Um, so we're going to go, we'll go two sections on each of these. So it'll be here and then here here uh, I mean we may not have enough stuff but uh, it should be all right we'll figure it out if we run out of chess we'll make some more just want to make sure we get everything lined up correctly excellent and then that'll go there So the question is, yeah, that's out of that's out of steel chests. Um, let's go remedy that quickly. What goes into making a steel just steel? Um, do I have I have an assembly machine? I've got robot arms. I don't have a provider chest. Um, we should be able to get one what am I short for on that I'm short a smart chest which means I'm short a steel chest let's just grab some stuff off of there um, and then we can just do this like give me a provider chest give me a little bit more oh that's plastic um, We'll go right here, I think. Yeah, this will work. Um, all right, so let's go this guy from there into this guy. And you're going to make steel chests and then empty into this.
Yep, that should work. All right. In the meantime, our robots are going nuts. Um, hopefully, oh, yep, they're grabbing them. Okay, so this will just take a little while to get going. Um, we're going to have to kind of do a similar thing on the output because I want to, I want to buffer our outputs. Um, but actually the output should be a little bit easier because I'm going to bring each of these back down to one. So what's going to happen on the outputs are, um, we're going to come up this way and then this way. And then on the outputs, we're going to grab off of these belts. And we're going to move into the middle until we get to the center one um, from both sides, basically. Um, I did run out of uh, stuff here, but that's fine because this was just kind of a temporary little design um, I don't want to come back and actually do that until we are good to go on that end of things um, looks like we're short a lot of things but the robots are figuring them out it's gonna take them a little while because of our lack of chests but that's fine we will be making chests for the future should give us plenty of chests to make this happen. Um, in the meantime, we're, we'll go. We're getting close to the end of the episode here, but we'll we'll go for a little bit longer. Um, so what's going to happen is each one of these is going to come up here somewhere, probably about the middle here. Um, yeah, we'll do it like right here, I guess, and then we're going to have to do a splitter. And then each one is going to come around this way and connect up like so. Um, let's clear this guy and then we can actually just do this. Um, and place these down as well. There we go. Um, and I can just chuck some of these in here. Where are they at? There they are. <laughs> All right, and that should take care of that so then we'll just have to actually just get this stuff to where it needs to go so this one is just gonna come up um, and let's see here we're gonna just swing that way and then this way there we go and then this one's going to do something similar. It's going to come up to here and it's going to swing this way and that way. Um, and then these all are basically just going to do similar things. Um, like so. Connect that up. And I'm out of belts again. Um, what are you doing, ro uh, robots? Here, give me some of these. All right. Um, and straight across. Shouldn't it be a big deal? 
This should hopefully balance this whole system. It's big, it's a little probably wasteful. There's probably more compact ways to do this, but I don't know them. Um, maybe next time we'll, you know, maybe the next season we'll have that figured out. Maybe we'll do all robots or something. I don't know, that would be cool. Um, hard to get to, to actually get to the point of actually doing robots. I think next season I'm going to try, um, if we do another season I should say, I'm going to try a mod that just turns off the aliens, because I don't actually think they're an entertaining part of this thing. If I remember correctly, how the mod works is it, um... How the mod works is it basically makes an ore that replaces the alien artifacts. Um, okay, so what we're going to do here, because I want to make sure that this is even going to work, is we're going to disconnect across the board, because I don't really trust that uh, this is indeed going to actually work. Um, so, let's bring this to here. Turn. This one comes to here, and then turns. This one comes to here. This one comes to here. Okay, so I'm gonna connect one of these up, and we're gonna see what happens. Um, So that works. Now what happens when we connect the second one up? Second one gets stopped. Third one. Okay, so three gets us filled across. Um, so we should be able to do um, with four with this setup until... Um, things get going. I don't actually want to connect them up yet because we're not uh, we're not ready for them yet. We're still waiting on many chests. Uh, and yeah, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, between episodes, I'm going to let this finish building. I'm going to um, connect this up and actually let these chests fill up. Um, I do actually want to come through and disconnect these because I don't actually want to feed or into the furnaces just yet um, yeah don't want to feed or into the furnaces quite yet uh, the other thing we're gonna need to do and maybe we'll do this next time um, is we need to where is it at I think it's here is it this um, oh, that was weird. The game kind of locked up there for a second. We need to set up manufacturing, automated manufacturing of these beacons. So we'll probably do that next time. Um, it shouldn't be too terribly hard. It doesn't need to be fast manufacturing. But um, that'll be it for this time. If you like the video, click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for some more Factorio. Thanks for watching. Bye.